I totally understand, you know, the abhorrence that we have as workers to uh, the conservatives. Um, you know, I know, I know why that why that exists. I understand where it comes from, um, and I I don't think it's a case that you know we we have to say, oh, you know, it's uh, you know all people are all right, and um, you know we can just kind of uh, li live and let live. Um, you know, we we do understand that we are in a, a class struggle. Um, but I think when it comes to the Labour Party and, you know, workers having a kind of, uh, you know, reaction where it's like you, you can't uh, stomach the idea of uh, voting the other way because, you know, you, you've, you've lived your life, you, you know, maybe, you know, generations of your family have been Labour voters. Um, and, it, and it feels like it's, uh, you know, a, a kind of treachery uh, to, to go the other way. Um, but this is something that we as a party have got to help people get over. Um, I kind of see it as like a, it's almost nowadays when it's so clear to us, you know, what the Labour Party represents. It's, you know, the other side of the coin. Um, it's the, the good cop to the Conservative Party's bad cop when we're looking at the entirety of British bourgeois parliamentary politics. And it's like a superstition that we've got a crack. We've got to get over it. You know, we want to build something that can be that real alternative, a real workers party. And, you know, I, obviously lots of our members, you know, have come to this party because they joined the Labour Party with the best of intentions and full hopes for, you know, a new beginning and actually being able to change stuff in, in politics for the, for the better. So, you know, we know that a large part of our membership have got this experience. You know, it's a specific route that people have had through their own, uh, you know, learning of being involved in politics that's, that's, that's brought them here. Um, and, while we've got to be understanding, you know, we, we understand where, where these prejudices come from and that like sometimes people might, res, you know, react in, you know, a very sort of like passionate and emotional way to these kind of things. But, you know, for the long run, it is something that we've got to help everyone, all the workers in Britain to, to get over this kind of idea. And, you know, I think that we're, we're in a good position to do it because we know that there's masses of working people that have already learned that the Labour Party doesn't represent them. And we've got, you know, the example of, you know, masses of these workers, you know, did in effect vote Conservative in the 2019 election over the question of Brexit when the Labour Party had demonstrated through what it was saying that it was appealing to the Remain camp, to the Remain interests of, uh, you know, large corporations to basically say, you know, if you vote us in, we'll do our best to, you know, limit this or twist it around and turn it so that things, you know, can stay as the status quo as much as possible. So, you know, we know that there's plenty of workers that have already learned this. They've already abandoned the Labour Party and we need to show them that we are the, the viable alternative, the thing that they should look towards, follow us you know, listen to what we're saying and get involved with us as a party. And also, lot, you know, lots of people that haven't haven't seen it quite like that. We've got to put the put the argument to them as well. So I just really hope that we can carry on our work of, you know, helping people to get over that uh, sort of prejudice and that and that superstition um, with the, the idea of the, the, the two parties um, at loggerheads. And it's got to be one or the other when it boils down to it, because it doesn't have to be one or the other, you know, it can be us, the other. Mm -hmm.